So I think about this topic a lot. The universe is vast and potentially growing, so more solar systems farming constantly. And right now, we are the only planet that we know of that has life. It's intriguing. Welcome to Serene Theories. And this episode, we go over whether alien life is out there and whether it's sentient or not. Now we have one planet as our case study, Earth. In our planet, it has developed life, it has had a mass extinction, it has developed life a second cycle, and in this cycle there is a roughly 8.7 million estimated species, and there is 7.8 million estimated to roughly be left to discover. And that means that we've discovered roughly 1.2 million species. That figure is absolutely insane. And that's even as we speak of what we have only discovered so far. Now when we speak of the universe, a study via the Kepler by Birmingham Young State University has estimated that roughly 10% of stars have an Earth-like planet that's orbiting it. And that is done via a study of our own Milky Way, which is our own solar system, which has roughly 6 billion Earth-like planets in it, which is absolutely insane. Now, we also have an interesting case of sentient life. First of all, we have us humans, obviously, we are the biggest case of sentient life, but we do actually have another case of sentient life that we've only recently discovered, and that is, in fact, bees. Now, in our universe, we are literally children. We know that bacteria is found on asteroids in space via studies of meteors that we have, so it all really take all it really takes to start the process it's a big enough meteor with bacteria on it to land potentially in the ocean via studies of our own planet that's where life started was the ocean so a big enough one of them theoretically that lands in the ocean is all it takes for life to start to develop on a planet theoretically in 2022, we had researchers in the UK discover that bees can in fact feel pain. But the real kicker came in 2023 via research via a person known as Stephen Butchman who discovered that bees can in fact potentially be sentient via careful lab studies over 20 years while also treating these bees with respect and care and not harming them and they even say that he even says that it's because of this research he has chosen to treat insects completely different than he would have before this research. Now via our last research on bees we can say that bees have been around for roughly a hundred million years whereas primates only started to evolve 45 million years later and that's when we discovered the first primate fossil. With a 45 million year difference in between, we can actually infer some things. A primate's brain already shows signs of intelligence, whereas an insect's brain, although we've only researched that been able to study it, it functions completely different, so it's not going to have all the wrinkles that we do. I can theorize that because primates already showed signs of intelligence that they may have evolved from mammals prior so that 45 million year difference is starting to look a little shorter. Now via my research on the paleogene era that started at 65 million years ago which means that that could be the potential starting point for mammals to start to potentially gain sentience and we've got a hundred million years for potentially bees to gain sentience here. So let's go over the figures that we currently have. There are six billion Earth-like planets alone in our own Milky Way system 
we discovered three meteors that have landed, that have been opened up, and we discovered pond, pond-like bacteria growing within it. And we've also got the case of the potential meteor that started life on our planet to begin with, which makes four cases. And we are hit by meteors constantly. It took roughly 3.5 billion years for life to first potentially gain the point of sentience. So yes, and we are still young in the solar system, so yes, I do believe that the odds of sentient life existing are in fact within our core. So realistically, there's a 99% chance that life exists on other planets, non-sentient life, and I would even go as far as to say that it doesn't just exist on one planet, but countless, perhaps a billion total, maybe, judging by the figures that we have alone in our own Milky Way, I'm going to say that potentially a billion of them, Earth-like planets, potentially have non-sentient life at the bare minimum. So in a hundred million years, two sentient animals potentially exist, at least one, as a bare minimum. What does that actually mean for sentient life then? I would say that that means that a creature that has a social nature has a potential to evolve, that maybe that social nature is actually the key to evolution to begin with. Six billion Earth-like planets potentially in our solar system, at least three meteors with microorganisms and one that potentially started life on our planet to begin with, and countless meteors that remain undetected. We have two species of potential sentient life, and at the earliest that started to evolve a hundred million years ago, and fifty million years ago at the latest. I would say yes, there is about a 70% chance with these figures that sentient life does exist on other planets. What do you think? Sentient life, unsentient life, what exists out there? Let me know in those comments. I hope that you all have an absolute amazing day. I hope that you all stay safe. And this has been me, Serene Generation, and I am out, yo. Peace.